What's up, YouTube? <laughs> it is time for us to watch and analyze the animated short. You might have seen my reaction, my first, my first reaction to this animated short. But now, now it is time to deep dive live over on twitch.tv make sure to go check me out over on twitch uh if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe hit that like button all that fun stuff but we're gonna go frame by frame analysis we're gonna look at the lore we're gonna talk about the lore we're gonna have a discussion about the lore um to preface i'm not an expert i'm probably gonna be talking out of my butt for the most of it but we're here to have fun and i have a heart rate monitor on this time so you guys could watch me get stressed the moment I, I we we watch this. So I'm thinking I'm thinking we do just a straight watch real quick. <laughs> straight. We'll do a watch through. We'll do a watch through first to get it out of my system. All right. Just to, just to get it out of my system, and then and then we'll go through and we will analyze and we'll start the anal the anal the, the analyzing part of it. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Let me get subtitles on. Because I turned them off because I was stressed. The remembrance is no different than the sea. I love her Never voice. Gaze upon its surface on a starless night. Oh my god. Dude. For someone? Dude. <sighs> and, and he's not a pod. <laughs> how about a dance? How about a dance? Okay, like the way, like, just, like, Akira just goes along with it. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> My gaze has yeah. lingered on her for quite a while. I'm good. And tonight, I initiate our first engagement. Dude, dude! The Ranger, as mysterious as the rumors. I hate this. I hate, oh my god. Of Guys, I'm like, my hand is away from the keyboard. I can't, I can't pause. Yet in this nocturnal hunt, mm -hmm. the ranger is not the only <laughs> Okay, we're good. I'm good. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you're more enchanting than you seem. Uh huh. God. Without a doubt, she seeks the watchmaker's legacy. In this game, do uh, that. Okay, that hand grab is insane. Do not. Uh huh. <laughs> this is so well animated. It just keeps on getting better, doesn't it? Everyone has a past, and the past shapes the present. Mm hmm. Some people hold on to memories, while others are haunted by them. Dude, the way they're touching I boobies. To escape. That is why I took action. Oh, this violin is so good. I want to know <laughs> that what freaking she is. Grab! <sighs> Many were drawn to this feast. The IPC. The okay, now 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 it's when she gets serious. Fools, the nameless, and the, the annihilation, annihilation gang. They should have been present, but Duke Inferno <laughs> is dead. He and his children won't be attacked. Okay, I, I want to talk about this, but done, I saw like a really interesting comment. Danger. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. I know I said I wasn't going to pause. I saw a very interesting comment on how in the beginning it was like there's two violins that are kind of playing with each other. And then all of a sudden during like this part, so, like when there's like the tone shift, all of a sudden, all of a sudden that the, the violin that was more on the back burner starts taking the aggressive, like it starts going on the aggressive. So like you could you could really hear like and how that's going to shift right now in the music. So there's two violins working together right now, and now the other one is overtaking. See, do you hear it? Are you asking me? Oh, it's so good. Dude. 
God, the imagery is so good. Bro, she just came. Back from having a great time. Who are the Annihilation Gang? That is so funny. That is still so funny to me. My gaze has lingered on her. For Can we get like a while. gaze counter? And tonight is our final engagement. A galaxy ranger. No, I've made a grave mistake. Our gaze, our grave. Everyone has a past, but for some, their past is a silent abyss. Oh my god, these bodies. Who drowned in it. Annihilation game. <laughs> this part's so funny. Annihilation game. Guys, Akron might be the funniest character in this game. No. Oh. <laughs> no, guys. Funny. She is so freaking funny. She's like, oh. Oh, yeah. The people I off screened. Yeah. Yeah. I remember them, I guess. Like, oh. Like, that O oh felt so natural. Just like, oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Before we go frame by frame, I want to read this. I want to read this because there's big lore and I actually haven't read it yet. Also, I want to I wanna issue a formal apology. I didn't notice the title of this stream or of of the video of the animated short said the word calpis i'm going to be real did not read the title when i saw when i when i when i saw it my brain did not even did not even think that this could have possibly been been a honkai impact reference in any sense who's calpis calpis is one of the um what are they called? He's one of the ER people, the Elysian Realm people. What are the flame chasers? Flame chasers. He's one of the flame chasers who's extremely angry and a little shit. Um, he's also uh, has a great ass, uh, according to what people people say. I call him Calpis, but but he's an edge lord. He is an edge lord. He's very much an edge lord. But yeah, he he is he is a flame chaser in in Honkai Impact Third, which are famously all dead. Not a not a spoiler. You know they're dead when you meet them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read this. <clears throat> the dual planets were intertwined in each other's tragic destiny, dancing an eternal rondo around a pitch black great sun. In the beginning, one of the planets gave rise to humans. These people looked down and named the land below Izumo. These people looked up and named the world above Takamagahara. I'm so sorry for any accents that I may be butchering. All right. One day, uninscribed in the, uninscribed in the annals, the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended from Takamagahara, these demonic beasts named Kami overturned the skies, burned the rivers and oceans, and shattered the land. People realized in horror that it was not an invasion for rulership, dominance, or plunder. The evil Kami came only to kill. As the planet stood on the brink of death, Izumo embarked on a Kami-slaying journey, exhausting the might of the entire country to slay the calamity sovereign of revelation and forging the fir um, the very first edict edge using its bestial body giving the kami a taste of their own medicine the wielder of these swords can recite the mantra contained within the blade to master the divine power of takamagahara and use it to combat the evil Kami and save the masses. Sorry, guys. It's, it's, it's hard to see what, like the next ones are. From then on, Izumo started its long and arduous crusade, exchanging inordinate lives lost for the fall of one Kami after another, shattering countless mortal blades to forge the 12 sentinels. 
In the merciless fight for survival, Izumo used the might of the Edict Edges to light up their uncivilized world of darkness in less than 10 amber eras, building cities of dazzling neon lights. That distant Takuma Divine Realm, once so far away, became so close within their reach. Yet history suddenly stopped there. Their, uh, the existence of the two planets instantly evaporated, disappearing into nothingness. Nowadays, the past of the border planet Uzumo can only be gleaned from the scattered whispers in the universe. Academics hold various views regarding its disappearance, but none can solve the mystery. Izumo's history has, should have been a long-flowing river, but it was severed in one cut, and all its past and future voided on emptiness other, emptiness's other shore. Did it never exist? And was it no more than a fabricated story? Did its histories never occur? And it ran aground on the beach of reverse causation. Was it yet another appalling experiment? by Pr Dr. Primitive? Or was it a sign of the veracity returning from the end of the cosmos? Only that pitch black great sun would know the answer, yet they remain silent, never speaking, because everything that has happened will one day regress to the end, and everything that had ended is guaranteed to happen again. The universe undergoes an eternal recurrence under their shadow. And Izumo is nothing more than a footnote for an ellipses. Okay. That was a lot of words. So they, yeah, capitalized they refers to eons. So immediately, my brain goes to Elysian realm. And I don't know if it's just because I see the word calpus. So now my brain wants to go to Elysian realm as just like a thing. Because, like, it's a realm, like, that doesn't technically actually exist. It's X or 9. Okay. Preface for those watching who don't know how I operate. I know it's pronounced 9. I'm calling him X for the eon of, of nihility. I just, okay. It most likely is is the eon of nihility X. But, but, I I want, but, like, I want... I want it to be related to Honkai Impact. I, I, I just like, I want it to be related there. So, so I, I like, I, I want to say it's related to Elysian Realm and the 12 Sentinels is like the flame chasers, you know? Like, I just, Kami equals Honkai. That is very possible, actually. And like, is this Acheron lore? Or could this potentially be a planet that Acheron herself had destroyed because the the one line that stuck out to me it's like it was severed in two or like where is it severed in one cut and I just feel like that's something that Acheron is extremely capable of doing so it, it, it could be possible that Acheron could be the reason for the downfall of this planet. And so it kind of is giving me parallels to Honkai Impact. What if Kiana never saved Mei? Like, like, what if? What if, like, this, this version of the ride in Mei doesn't have a Kiana to save her? And she ended up destroying, um, uh, what's the city? It's Naga, Naga something. The, 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 the city, the, essentially, like, where Nagazora, yeah, Nagazora. Basically, what Nagazora would have been if, if, um, May never had, like, Kiana save her. So I think this is, like, almost like an alternate reality of, like, a what-if scenario, like, gone wrong. It's kind of like in, um... In everything, everywhere, all at once, like the the different like universes, which like every choice leads to a different path, and like that choice that like in the movie, like the main character, like that path is like every wrong choice that you could have possibly made was like the worst version of her. Like, what if that's this version of like the ride in May? Acheron is like this is like the worst possible ending for Acheron or for the ride in if like every choice like didn't work out. 
HSR is like a parallel world, if you will. Yeah, like a potentially like parallel world, um, um, like a, a parallel world. Because all of these universes, they've been confirmed, especially in the live stream, that all like Hongai and Hongai, uh, Hongai Star Rail and Hongai Impact exist in the same universe. These are all in Genshin, are all, they're all part of the imaginary tree. They're all part of the overarching universe. So there, there has to be a way to, to relate all of these different, um, all these different um, uh, planes of existence. And they're all going to have different words for like the same concept and the same things. So yeah, Kami might be Honkai. Like it might just be a different way to say Honkai. All right, so that's 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 that lore. That that's that that's that lore. Somebody cooked here. I know, right? Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's time to actually pay attention. <laughs> I need to actually pay attention. This is no different than the sea. Okay, no different than the sea. What sea, like, is this like a, a literal metaphor? Just like the sea, it's like waves coming and going. That feels, that feels like too, too simple of, of an analogy. Sea of quantum, the sea of quanta. Potentially. It's so different than the sea of quanta. Just saying. Guys, not the sea of butterflies illusion of the past. No, no. Sea of quanta. Also, sorry, unrelated. Are they ever going to explain why Seely can literally cut through, like, quantum and is able to, like, disappear? They're, are they ever going to explain that? Why her eyes turn red? They're, they're, are they ever going to... Are we ever going to figure that out? Are like, they ever going to... It's because of butterflies? Oh, you're, oh, yeah, you're so right. Yeah, you're so right. Never gaze upon its surface on a starless night. Guys... When you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back. Also, do you see how much my heart rate raises when I hear Black Swan's voice? Oh my gosh, she's so fine. Waiting for someone. <laughs> okay, to all the haters, Black Swan did not need to do this. Black Swan did not need to do all of this to read Acheron's memories. I just, I just want to put that out there. They didn't need to do the tango. They really didn't. I feel like, okay, from like an animator's perspective, animating the tango is more intimate than like having sex. This, this scene felt way more intimate than if they just did it. Like them kissing would have been less intimate than whatever the hell happened on this screen. All right. Then, how about a dance? Oh my god. <sighs> the way that she accepts- Oh my god. Sorry, like, guys, 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 guys. They're touching fingers. Like, like, Akron just is like, okay. My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while. Uh huh. And tonight I initiate our first engagement. <laughs> Again. <clears throat> okay. So, so, uh, focus, focus. So, Black Swan is initiating their first engagement. So their first time talking to each other, like officially. And she even puts Galaxy Ranger in quotation marks. So um, it, it's pretty much we're coming from the angle, or at least Black Swan is coming from the angle that, that Akron is not actually a Galaxy Ranger. So that's like, I feel like that's where we could, we, that's where we're starting right now. She, she, she's coming at this from an angle. She does not believe Akron is, is legitimately a Galaxy Ranger. Like she, she's trying to figure out who exactly Akron is. And, um... I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume I don't know if it's been confirmed or not. This took place before we even entered Penacony. I'm, I'm that's what I'm going to assume. Like we we have not even entered Penacony yet, correct? I feel like this is like a little bit before we show up. Agreed? Agreed? Are we are we good on the timeline? Also, this would explain why they look so awkward with each other when they end up meeting in, in 2.0. 
Because, like, the looks that they give each other, like, yeah, I knew that wasn't their first meeting. Yeah, yeah, I knew that they had a one-night stand. Yeah, it was obvious. Anyways. Lexi Ranger. As okay, so I just want to look at that frame by frame. What is this? What? What is this? Like, just say you want to have her babies. Like, this is... This is so intimate. This is so intimate, you guys. Like, look at this. She is sliding up the arms. And then, like... And then, like... And then, like... Okay, okay, she's gonna, like, slap it. She's gonna... She's gonna... Look, look. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then... I believe, like, that, that, um, that mist stuff is, like, what her power of remembrance... Uh, yes, yes, correct. This is, this is, uh, oh my god, oh my god, the way that she's grabbing her. Oh, the way that she's, this is insane. This is, okay guys, I'm sorry, it's the pheromones. <laughs> it's the pheromones. <laughs> pheromones dude i hate that i hate that okay okay why is black swan seriously seducing acheron this hard i just i just feel like it's a little it's a little unnecessary to to to, to go this hard on the seduction like i you really didn't need to do this much to to look into her memories a galaxy ranger as mysterious as Sorry, that noise dude that noise a little ah Okay. As the rumors suggest. I'm sorry. As mysterious as the rumors suggest. Okay. But like, okay, this like little turn. So the actual lore analysis is probably in the second half. This is going to be me simping. This is so... This is so... Dude. <sighs> okay. Also, genuine question. Akron has a like, really bad memory. How does she remember how to do the tango? How does she how does she how does she know how to do the tango? Oh, muscle oh, it's like, oh, you never know when a hot girl might ask you to tango. Like that's just something that you need to have in your wheelhouse. Muscle memory. Do you guys just know how to do the tango? I know I don't. I, I, I definitely know I don't know how to do the tango. A galaxy <laughs> ranger. Okay, also the sounds of like hearing like the fingers go up the arms. As mysterious as the rumors suggest. A blend of nobility and reticence. Yet in this nocturnal hunt, the ranger is... I'm sorry, I need to be paying attention to the words and I'm and I'm truly just watching it again. Hold on, hold on. What is she saying? A blend of nobility and reticence. Okay. Yet in this nocturnal hunt. In this nocturnal hunt. Because right now Black Swan believes she is the hunter and not the prey at this moment in time. The ranger is not the only one who hunts. Girly pop, girly pop. Ooh, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna want to take back that statement. This is so intimate. This is, this is so. Yeah, the hand play. Like she has one hand on her waist and the other hand on her chin. And like, why is she looking? Why, why are their lips so close together? I just don't understand. Like this, just, this just doesn't make. This just doesn't make any freaking sense to me, like, whatsoever. Like, how, how, like, how are they getting away with this, first of all? And how does this have anything to do with reading each other's memories? And, and, oh my god. Oh, Hex, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you. Welcome in, everybody. Hi, hello. I'm currently doing an analysis of the animated short, so we are going frame by frame and talking about it. But welcome in. I hope you guys had an awesome stream. And, you know, sit back, relax, and, and enjoy the simpage that is going to be happening on this screen frame by frame simp analysis yeah yeah also thank you guys for all the subs by the way as well um <clears throat> she needed to get close to read the memories you can get close by sitting next to her you can get close by by um like dropping something and and just happening to like just like accidentally bump into her i just i just feel like you didn't need to do the tango and do whatever this is happening i don't i just don't understand like you really didn't need to, like whatever Black Swan's doing right now, she didn't need to do that. 
just saying this this right here she didn't need to do that she wanted to but she didn't need to okay the ranger's not the only one who hunts because yeah black swan right now thinks that that she she's the one on the offense right now hunts. at this distance you're more enchanting than you seem There's no explanation. For, I, I don't have an explanation for why Black Swan would say that. You guys, I, I just, I don't have an explanation for this. At this distance, you're more enchanting than you seem. God, their leg movements are so Without good. A doubt, she seeks the Watchmaker's legacy. In this game, every Okay. I'm going to make a comparison to Penacony right now, and you guys are going to agree with me. Is Penacony not just Game of Thrones? Is, is this not just giving Game of Thrones? The Iron Throne is the Watchmaker's legacy. And everyone is fighting to get the legacy, you guys. All of these different factions, all of these different heads of factions are coming together and they're all playing this game. They're all playing a game and they're all trying to get to the legacy, which is going to be like the power at the end of the tunnel. Okay. So like, it, it's kind of giving Game of Thrones. It's, it's giving like, it's less like politics in like the, the conventional sense of politics, but there's a power struggle and, and, and power dynamics at play. Adventure in his little finger. I hate that. I I actually despise that analogy. You're correct, but I hate it. But yeah, it's not a unique concept. I know, but I'm, I'm trying to put it in a term where my brain can understand it a bit better because everyone is lying because everybody has their own secret objective that they don't want other people to know, which is essentially what Game of Thrones was. All right. Everyone lies. Oh my God. That, okay, sorry. That, that hand grab. Oh my God. That hand grab, bro. Oh, that hand grab. Okay, I do think there's more there's more meaning to this, okay? It's like um So Black Swan's trying to get closer. She's trying to use her remembrance to to read Acheron's uh memories right now. And Acheron's trying to like pull back a little bit. And then Black Swan being overconfident is like, "No, I got this." And like pulls her in closer not knowing what's about to happen. So she's saying like what people lie but memories do not. She seeks the watchmaker's legacy. In this game, everyone lies. The memories do not. Oh, the music's picking up. Oh! God, this is so good. It just keeps on getting better, doesn't it? It's like, it's like Black Swan is in a competition with herself for who can be the gayest. Because like, there's no reason for her to say this. Because like, I feel like she's going in and out on like, what, like, what she's saying in her mind and like, what she's physically saying out loud. And I, this feels like one of the lines that she said out loud. Like, oh, like, this just keeps getting on better. Like, just keeps on getting better, doesn't it? Like, girl, like, why are you looking at her lips while you're saying that? Doesn't it? Everyone has a path. Okay, so these backgrounds, I'm going, to, I'm going to make the executive decision to assume this is Acheron's past. That, that, I feel like this is a, this is a fair assessment, yes? This is, these are stills from Acheron's past. And I don't think I'm correct in this. I'm just going to say a theory I had when I was watching, but I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sold on it 100%, but it is, but it is a, a theory that passed my brain. What if Acheron, like, like seeing like these like stills and like these moments like from her from her past, it really gave me Fuhua vibes over Ride and May vibes. Like I don't know why, and I I can't explain a hundred percent why, but but it just it for some reason I was getting Fuhua vibes, and I don't I don't know if it's fully related or not, but those are just like that's just like the energy I got, and I, and I I don't I don't fully know why. And the past shapes the present. 
Okay, you guys are saying that this reminds you of the um, Kiana May scene, uh, uh, Lament of the Fallen, Chapter 17, one of the best animated shorts of all times. Um, while I agree it feels similar, I think this dude's holding a gun. And that, like, and that, but yeah, it just, it's, the only difference is that she is standing and then one person is lying down. But no, but Kiana wouldn't point her gun at May. Like, it's different. Like, this is, like, this This is a guy, like, this is, like, a military dude, okay? Yeah, it, it looks more like World War than, than any, than anything, like, like, Kiana-related. It feels more like they sent out a whole military militia against Acheron. Some people hold on to memories, while others are haunted by them. Also, me being self-indulgent. Sorry, one second. The moon. Acheron with the moon behind her. Guys, the moon. Others are haunted by them, unable. And like, who's that? To escape. That is why I took action. I want to know. I want you guys to see how how tightly and intensely they are they are grabbing on to each other, okay? Look at this, look at this. Want to know. <laughs> you guys, you guys, do you do you hear do you you hear the squish, right? We we hear the squish, right? I want to know. The way Black Swan's arms go like around her torso and like Acheron, who looks really nonchalant, like claws at Black Swan. I want to know. Like she like <laughs> it's like, yeah. You don't hear it? Okay, okay, I'll stay quiet. Listen, listen, you hear it. it's like a little noise. I want to know what You hear it. I heard it. It's like a little that's that's the that's their boobies touching that's okay okay all right i just want to make sure you guys okay yeah we heard it right we heard it and i just i just really enjoy just how intimate this 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 the, the this embrace really is and it just feels a little unnecessary unnecessary um in the grand scheme of things but necessary for me she is many were drawn to this feast all right this is where it gets serious the ipc the garden of recollection fools the nameless and the annihilation gang they should have been present but i do we know why black swan is so interested in the annihilation gang has it has has she ever said why she's curious or like interested in this? I I can't remember exactly. Or does she just want the information because they don't know what happened? Is, is it just because they don't know what happened that they're trying to that she wants to figure it out? She's just trying to. But they haven't like they haven't fully explained why she's doing this, right? I think it's cause uh gay. Oh, you're so right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so right. You're so right. Currently unknown. All right. She's curious about Acheron. I think she's more curious about Acheron because of this scene, though. Like, I think she was curious beforehand, but now it's, like, a different type of, like, oh, shit. I think she's doing threat assessment. Hmm. Duke Inferno is dead. He and his children won't be attending. What have you done? Ranger. that was unnecessary this this was unnecessary also the quotations on ranger she still doesn't believe akron is actually a a ranger she she still doesn't believe it it's still something that that uh she's still trying to get to the bottom of it which is why right now is like this is when this is when like the tides are about to turn because we're about to the the, the power dynamic is is about to shift because 
Black Swan is going to read Acheron's memories. And I want to preface something before we even get to this part. Um, a lot of people have been saying that that Acheron basically like messed up Black Swan. Like she purposely did that. Like she ruined Black Swan mentally on purpose. I don't think that's the case. I literally think we're experiencing how traumatizing Acheron's memories actually are. And Black Swan cannot handle it. She she can't handle the literal amount of of trauma that that Acheron has like endured and went through. But Acheron, I think, literally did nothing. I think she's just dancing here and she's having a good time. Like it she truly like like Black Swan truly mind effed herself. Oh, yeah, we all went for So this is Duke Inferno, right? I still can't believe they gave us a whole villain trailer surrounding Duke Inferno and his children just for Akron to offline them. Like, they made five character designs, voiced five different characters. And got rid of all of them offline. And she didn't have the audacity to remember who they were. Excuse me. Are you asking me? Oh, God. Okay, this part. Okay, hold on. Sorry, this part. This part, dude. This. This part. Oh, the kids are still alive? Okay, okay. But still, they still killed the head guy. Okay, this guy. This, this scene. This, 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 oh. Are you asking me? When the bottom gets topped. Also, I freaking love the narrative choice to make it look like, like, every time, like, Acheron does anything like it's plucking feathers off of black swan like the, the swan metaphor and like having Acheron being the snake it's just it's so good it's so freaking good also also I think this ties back into do you guys remember when we entered Penacone and and um we, we see we see Acheron for the very first time in the dreamscape and she mentioned something about black and white and and red do we do we remember that? Do you guys remember the exact line? Because this is essentially that scape. Like we're in a black and white realm with red. A glimpse of red in a black and white world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Well, right now there's a lot of red. But but this is a black and white world and we're getting the glimpses of red. Which is essentially kind of um showing Acheron's like murderous side, if anything. Oh, it's so good, dude. The symbolism in the background as well is insane. It's absolutely insane. Seeing like the swan just getting absolutely like destroyed. Like, in the background, like, by the snake. It's almost like for Black Swan to actually see into Acheron's memories, she has to lay herself bare. And, like, and get down to the most, like, dis like uh, decrepit parts of herself to even be able to handle any, any semblance of what she's, like, had to experience and, like, what she's gone through. That's just so cool. And like the music. Yeah, Akron's dancing like nothing's wrong here. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I have an opinion. Okay. I know immediately you guys are, you want to scream nihility. 
I know you guys want to scream Nihility. And I think Nihility is the obvious choice that she's an emanator of Nihility. I think, I think that's like, that's the obvious choice. I know this, but, but uh, this is just the snake. I know, but like, I, but people very clearly like the black hole metaphors, and everything, everyone wants to say Nihility. I know, I know, but what if it's a bait? What if it's a bait? And what if this is more, what if this is more in the terms of just representing death than actual nihility, okay? You guys, I really, like, I, I, because like, red herrings have been very, a very important theme in Pentacone. Just saying, just saying, it, it has a very important theme on Pentacone. So, so what if they're throwing us all of this nihility stuff, all of this nihility, because they're just like, everything will make sense with nihility. But what if it's finality? Guys, what if the selfish part of me just really wants it to be finality? I just, I, I want it as, as an individual. I don't want it, like, it, like I, I want it to be, I want it to be finality for personal reasons. But, like, but, like, for, like, actual, it's probably nihility. But I want it to be finality, you know? Mina, read the Emanator's info on Twitter. We will after this. Would they add a new path for her? Well, just because she's one path in in um, gameplay doesn't mean like she's not following another path uh, in actuality. Sparkle is a masked fool of elation, but she is a harmony character. Black Swan is a uh, uh, literally an emanator of remembrance, and she is a nihility character. So uh, just because they follow a certain path does not mean that a character is played in that specific path. So just say, just say. Just the, the path that they play is not necessarily indicative of the path that they follow. Just putting that out there. All right. Yeah. Black Swan is an emanator of remembrance. I believe that has been confirmed already. No, guys, they literally confirmed it. They, con no, they, they said that like she's one of the emanators of remembrance. That the, that the people of uh, whatever they're called win. They literally say it. So what is she? Yeah, I thought all memo keepers are emanators. All memo keepers emanate. Yeah, no, all all memo keepers are emanators, you guys. So Yeah. Memo keepers are the emanators of remembrance. They said that she's a memo keeper. Yeah, Welt told us, you guys. Welt told us. Exactly. Exactly. Guys, I pay attention to the story, okay? All right? Chat's lore skippers. I know, right? You thought it's rare to become one? I think you just need the Eon's blessings uh, to become one. Yeah, Herda, the real one, is an emanator of erudition as well. Exactly. Yeah, we've met multiple emanators. I think the real dangerous part is like we're getting we're getting to ones that aren't like um don't have like any checks and balances. Yeah, it depends on the eon. Exactly. Memo keepers are some of the weakest emanators. A weak emanator is still an emanator. That's all that matters. I was right. Chat was wrong. Holy shit, that was oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, so creepy. Alright, the hunting and prey uh, metaphors. X. X. I think this is a red herring. I just. It feels. It feels too obvious. I feel like it's too obvious. It makes sense. It makes sense that she's related to Nihility. It does. And I agree with you. But I feel like it's too obvious where it has to be a bait. Like, it, it needs to be a bait. Can Nihility and Finality be the same? I, can, I don't have enough knowledge to answer that question. So I don't know. But we have seen crossover, like, babies of, of eons like fantilia who is um how to pronounce uh it's nine i i like to say x though 
Um, like Fantilia, who is the uh, love child of wh- wh- which two eons again, you guys? Abundance and um, and Hunt. Destruction. Destruction and Abundance. Sorry, they hate they hate Hunt. They hate Hunt. Yaoshi and Nanook. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantilia, the, the, the love child of destruction and abundance. Where are y'all getting this from? We, we play the game. They, they talk about this in the game. Yeah, destruction and abundance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone hates Lan, and I don't blame him. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't blame them. Also, you notice how really the red is only showing up when Black Swan is involved in this world. It's almost like the red is only appearing when there's an outsider looking in. Right? Because everything else has been in black and white. But then the moment Black Swan gets involved again with Acheron's memories, the red, the red uh, keeps showing up. So it might be, um, the stained red might be when there's an outsider. Oh my god, the dancing is so good still. And Black Swan's freaking out as... Yeah. Bro, she just came. I... You know... You know, just... Just saying. I, I, I mean, you know... Uh... 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 Yeah. I... Um... I... I, I yeah. Yeah. You know... Like, come on, that, that heavy breathing. She's a little freaking out. Like, I just feel like it's a little. She's scared to death. Okay. Yeah, it's post not clarity, bro. Who are the Annihilation Game? <laughs> Annihilation, who? My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while, and tonight is our final engagement. A galaxy ranger? No, I've made a grave mistake. Everyone has a past, but for some, their past is a silent abyss. Oh my god, all the bodies. Oh, with those drowned in it okay i think this part i think this part is actually related to the lore in the description this is giving me the lore in the description vibes about the world um that that got cut into one and so i i think this this is kind of just related to that and i think i yeah i think it's about her destroying izumo that's yeah she's the death standing there like she's almost like the grim reaper in a way And because she's taken so many lives, she doesn't even remember all of them. Annihilation game. Annihilation game. Oh. <laughs> Those guys. <laughs> it's... It's it's the way she says, oh, that is so freaking funny. It's so freaking funny. All right. So, so, 
that was our deep dive analysis on this video. We turned a five minute video into a 45 minute discussion, actually a 50 minute discussion. Leave a comment down below what parts you agree or disagree with me on. Hit that subscribe and like button. And I'll see you guys for the trailer reaction. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye.